Today's episode of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by Jeanette McKenzie, Realtor at Forest Hill Signature, Jewelry Forever at JewelryForever.ca, and Beautified by Romina. Enjoy the show. Broadcasting live from Glenmore Record Studios in Toronto, this is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown, your Sunday morning talk show with interesting guests, live musical performances, and the most fun you can fit in your coffee cup. Hosted by Scott Dion Brown and Regina Elena, this This is is The the Sit Down Down with with Scott Scott Dion Dion Brown. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 265 yeah. of, wow, 265, Virginia, yeah. of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown. I am your host, the one, the only, Scott Dion Brown, and I'm joined by the greatest co-host in all of... You can say it. <laughs> the universe is bigger than galaxy. In the universe, the one, the only. <laughs> Regina Lena, happy Sunday, everyone. And so you could say a galaxy. I was with all of them this weekend. That's true. You Where were. is my voice? I can actually hear myself through the microphone. It's wild. It's gone. Well, you had a very, very long day and night yesterday. Yeah. I guess we both did, but you specifically were actually using your voice all day long. Where were you yesterday, Regina? Yeah, so I was at the Canada's Perfect Pageant and Model Search Competition yesterday as their one and only MC. Um, so for those who are not familiar with the system, it is more on the glitz side of pageantry so giant dresses uh for the younger division so it's a mixture of pageantry like classic pageantry what we know plus a little bit of glitz so there's the three mandatory competitions evening be- summer wear and um fun fashion but then there's also the optionals uh, what's optional so, so they like-, like you don't have to sign up for them like they're an additional part yeah, of the what, competition so what were some of the optional there things? was barbie so oh. you totally could have gone. There was men there as well. So you totally. Did could somebody have... dress as Ken? Were no, there, there oh. was only one little boy. But you could have signed up if you were in town. So there was the Barbie optional. I'm just Ken. Um, there was uh, talent and national costume. Cool. So there were divisions starting from three years old, the toddler division, all the way to classic women, which is fifty plus. Classic so woman. the pageant started at eleven a.m did not get out of there until 9 p.m. So you were just, and you were em- you were emceeing this thing. Yes. So like you were, you were speaking all day long. And that is where my, I left my voice on the stage. <laughs> and like, uh, similarly to our guest, however, she used her voice all weekend on a different stage. Yeah, should we bring them in? Yeah. Let's bring in our guests. We have two guests here today. They're sisters. They are. And um, both of them, incredibly talented singers very talented um we've seen them perform in multiple places Mm -hmm. um i think i first heard them sing at the canada center stage competition my mic sounds weird it's your it is your mic hello hello yeah we hear you i'm gonna have to investigate that Mm -hmm. i saw i think i saw them sing at the canada Center. were you both in the canada center stage competition you were right yeah so i saw them both there but we've since then seen them on other performances other stages uh moana jr recently yeah so, uh, everybody, please give a very warm sit-down welcome to Chloe and Catherine Tiongson. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the sit-down. This is your second time. Yep. Yep. Catherine, have you been on our show before? No. No. First time. Are you nervous? I just don't know what to say. That's okay. It's fine. We got lots to talk Me about. We don't. We don't. We don't know what to say either. We just. We just chat. We just talk. Me too. Um, this is your first time on by yourself, although, right? Or I guess you're not by yourself, but your first time, like, not as triple act. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, how are you guys? What's been? What's What's <clears throat> new? You guys were. You guys were singing over the weekend. Uh, yeah, both of us with practices and all. So. Mm-hmm. See, Chloe left her voice on the stage too. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like as I was saying beforehand, my mic is definitely doing something wrong. It's okay. It sounds... My mic is fine, so I'll ask all the yeah, questions. Ask the question. I'm going to fix it. I'm try to fix it. <laughs> so what, uh, where were you this weekend? Um, on Friday, we were doing a rehearsal for our upcoming concert with Triple A. Um, and yesterday, we had a dance practice, but I was also singing that time. And then I hung out with my friend after. Awesome. And you had cool. practice too? Yeah, I had practice on Saturday for like, um, and absolutely not for her concert, like a dance, you know? Cool. Cool. One thing I did want to ask you guys about just to start, because we saw it more recently, was Moana Jr. Mm. So, <laughs> Chloe, you were... Moana. Yeah. And and Catherine. Uh, Catherine, you were Hey hey. Yeah. Hey. That was a it was a really good performance. Can How, I ask yeah. a question before we Yeah. Because I know there's a question that we both want to ask. Are you okay? <laughs> hey hey. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so people in her performance, it's live theater, it's a mm-hmm. performance. Um Catherine's character. So there's a moment where something happens on the stage where you guys get kind of scared. Like startled. And you kind of like leap back. And I thought it was part of the show. When when it happened, I thought it was supposed to happen. And Hey Hey fell into the boat. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So basically, Hey Hey, Catherine here, t- fell backwards right into the, the boat on stage. We so, all thought it was on purpose. Yeah. So tell, was tell, it? tell us about it. What was that experience like? What happened? So like it's the first time I fell on stage, but it was also kind of funny because mm-hmm. like there are people laughing, you know, mm-hmm. and Kyan helped me up. So I was fine. But then they got like a scratch on my arm. Yeah. So but I'm fine now. Yeah. You are a professional. It was. Yeah. Like I said, when it happened, I really thought. Oh, th- I thought that was supposed to happen. And I think a lot of the audience did too, because it mm-hmm. kind of fit with like, oh, you got scared, so you fell, you know? Yeah. And then it was only when we saw everybody's, all the other cast kind of helping you and ac- asking if you're okay, when it was like, oh, and wait, the I, don't think, I think that was supposed out. to happen. Yeah, there yeah. were some giggles. But, but I do have to commend Chloe, because you were there with your sister when it happened, yeah. and she, everyone's giggling. Chloe had a moment of giggle, and then she was such a professional and went back into character. She goes, I don't know what your lines were, yeah. but I was just like, look at her go. Yeah, I tried. Were you worried for your sister at that moment? I mean, I didn't see that she was injured. I just thought like she might have had like a little bruise, but I only saw her injury mm. after when like after the show. I did have to hold my laugh in, but like I kept myself <laughs> like remembering it. Mm-hmm. Just it just makes me laugh. It, it was a cute moment. Cayenne is in the moment. chat and says, Hi, Chloe and Catherine. And Hi! Says, Hi! And she says, Sorry, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also someone... Tetri. Tetri Hello, says, Chloe and Catherine from the Philippines. Oh, yeah. That's our um, oh! brother. Kuya. Hello, Kuya. Hello. Thank good, you all for tuning in. Welcome to evening. the show. <laughs> good evening to you. Yeah, good morning yeah. for us. Yeah, it's I guess it's 11 o'clock at night for them, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So thank you guys for staying up and tuning in. We're here with uh, Chloe and Catherine. So oh, aside from, you know, falling into the boat and everything, how was the overall performance for you guys? Were you happy with how it went? How, how did you feel about your the performance? Experience. Um, the latest one was my last performance. Mm-hmm. I think it went well, but at the end, it was sad because, like, it all came to me. I was like, this is the last time I'm performing Moana, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, oh, man. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. Well, I remember there was, like, at the very end of the show, as the, as the, as the curtains closed, I saw the whole, like, we, we, from the audience, we could s- sort of see the cast kind of going nuts, it's like, started excited. jumping what was happening. Yeah. So what did that feel like, that moment, when it, when it as the curtain closed? Well, I mean, I was happy, right? I mean, we got it over with. We did a good job. But then, I don't know. I just started feeling emotional, and I started crying. Aww. But, like, yeah. You can so, see the emotion in your face right now. Yeah, I don't know. When I, it's a visual memories. Yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is, it, it, you know, from the audience perspective, you know, they we go one night and we watch this thing but for you guys i mean it's months and months of work and you see these same people all the time right for a long time so you kind of suddenly when you when that curtain closes you realize oh well this whole thing we've been doing for months is it's that's that's it yeah yeah i was very it was so much work i mean i got closer with more people mm-hmm. from like the different jdl branches and all yeah yep did you yeah 
<laughs> I have a question for Catherine. So I know, like Alexana, right? When her when she's practicing, Jeremiah memorizes everything that she does. <laughs> Is it the same thing with your sister? Yeah, kind of. Because <laughs> like when she like sings like a lot, I always like hear them practicing, mm -hmm. and then it stays in my mind. So you're her understudy. Yeah. <laughs> That's I cool. That. Um, I first saw you. I think both of you. I saw perform. This was a while ago now. Because has there been another? No, there hasn't been a second Canada Center Stage competition. Or was there only one? There were two. There's been two. I'm like you're the one involved in it. <laughs> yeah, but I, can't, I, I, I it, it, it all blends. It yeah. So I saw you guys perform in the first one, mm -hmm. right? And I and I remember the performances still. Like they Ooh. they stand out. Oh yeah, you have some. What? That was my first one, so. Cute. Ooh, memories. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let's let's talk a bit about that. What was what was that experience like? Was that was your first time competing in a competition for I guess for both of you? Yep. Yeah. So what what was that like? Because that was there were multiple rounds of this. There was mm -hmm. the first one that was at like a mall, and then the second round was at another a, another mall, mm -hmm. and then we moved into a theater. Mm -hmm. So it was like multiple nights and like so. T t let's walk through that. So if you guys, I know it's a few years ago now, but. How do you pick a song? Yeah, like let's go like first night in the mall. What was it like getting ready or that day performing? So like on the first round, um, I got kind of sick because of her. Oh. She like infected me. <laughs> I was not sick. Not you your were. infecting she, you. She had like crunchy coughs. And then in the morning, <laughs> I also had crunchy coughs. Wait, wait, wait. Like, hey. What's a crunchy cough? Like, like with phlegm. You know? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Which can be that can that can be a challenge for singing, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then like, yeah. so I was hoping I wouldn't mess up, you know, because my voice wasn't really good that time. Mm. And I think there was this one part where like I stopped for a bit because like I had to cough or something. Mm -hmm. And then like at the end, I felt like really sad because mm. I just wished I wasn't like sick. But I feel like it was a good performance because my first competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in that first night, I mean, you got, you guys, I mean, I, I, cause I was the head judge I know. at that mm -hmm. event. You a lot fancy. of responsibility, a lot of responsibility. But I remember the first round was just to see like, like th there wasn't necessarily a win or loser that first night. It was just like, okay, who is Your good end. enough to yeah. be onto the next round? So, so that's interesting. So your first performance, you weren't like super happy with it. Because of the crunchy coughs. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna call it that. From how did you How did you feel about your performance in the first <laughs> night, if you remember? Well, um, it was my first, so I didn't know how to deal with like if I messed up or not, right? Mm -hmm. I learned that over the process of performing and performing. Um, I remember for the first round, I forgot a lyric, but I still had to go on. But then later on, I cried. But then I realized it wasn't all that. Like as long I like, I was happy that. I continued instead of like stopping just because I forgot a lyric. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think uh, I don't think I n noticed that. Did you like? That's the thing. I in fact, that's good that you just kept going because usually, like you know, the, the judges, they, it's not like they have the lyric sheet in front of them. They're not right. like we're not following just along. Like you made your own rendition of the song. Yeah, I like so. hummed it. I was like, mm -hmm, like oh. that, and then I you just kept going. I think yeah. probably people just thought that's what was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Um. Cayenne and uh, Johan mm -hmm. laughing, going, ah, ha, ha, ha. I think they're laughing when you said crunchy coughs. <laughs> um, <laughs> Elena's also in the chat, says, hi, Chloe and Catherine. Hi. Precious nice. Hernandez is in the chat. Hello, Hello Chloe, Chloe and, and Catherine. Catherine. Hi. And uh, Erwin hi. L. Lamau. Lamau. <laughs> Lamau. Oh, my God. <laughs> And uh, here we got uh, Lee Yo says, Dearest Chloe and Catherine, we are so proud of what you have achieved at so young ages. We love you so much. Lots of love from Ninong Leo and Ninong Ruth and Kuya Stefano. Love you. That's so sweet. Thank you all for tuning in. Yes. And um, yeah, you guys have achieved a lot. Okay, so you had the first night. So both of you were like kind of not happy with your first night performance. Mm -hmm. Then the second one, we went to the, it was, it was a higher stage. It was a different mall. What was yeah. the name of the venue? Do you guys remember? It was like I think it was like Oriental Mall. Yeah, I think or Oriental Center maybe. I don't even remember that. I think that's actually what it was called. Yeah, yeah. And the one on Shepherd. Yeah, kind of in Scarborough, yep. a bit east. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, your so, sister's right. Yeah, so that was the night. So that was the second round of performance. 
how, how did that night go? Okay, I'll start with this one. Um, I sang a Celine Dion song. It was nothing special. I mean, I I think, like, after that performance, like, right after, I think I did fine. Mm-hmm. But, like, you know how, like, people improve throughout the years, right? Of course. So, I looked back at it one night, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is how I used to sing? I was like, I can't believe this. Like, I sound so different. Yeah. But it was nice. I got ramen after. It was yummy. <laughs> nice. So so you were happier with your performance that one than you were from the first one? You could say that. Nice. No crunchy coughs. What about uh, what about Catherine? So I remember, I think I sang Let It Go. Yeah. I felt really good with, like, the performance. I thought, like, I sang, like, good for that performance. I don't really, like know if i messed up on anything or yeah i mean again i was in the audience for these things if there was a mess up i don't i don't remember seeing anything it was uh yeah how do you guys what do you guys go into when you're choosing your your song song for a performance like what what goes into especially for a competition there's probably a lot of pressure like oh what song do i want to pick the perfect song for my voice so what 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 goes into that performance choice <clears throat> well, depending on the performance, right? But we're talking about competition right now. Huh? Um, for competitions, it's usually like the big songs, right? So I usually get recommendations from like my singing teacher, Ate Elisa. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, it's usually like the power ballads or something like that. But we choose songs depending on like what our voice sound like. Like hers is more like thicker and mine is more thin, apparently, like when belting. So I have to choose songs that suit our voice. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. And for me, I feel like sometimes I have to take like, like think for like a long time, and then sometimes I ask Auntie Chloe like between these two decisions, like should I sing this or this? And then like, um, whenever like I'm in a competition, I usually like singing belting songs because mm-hmm. I feel like I'm really good at those. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm just going to say, Scott has a really bad memory, and the fact that he remembers both of your performances from two years ago is impressive. Oh, yeah. It stood out. Yeah, that stood oh, out. yay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, they were really good. Mm-hmm. Really good. Um, yeah. It's the, you both have really good good, good voices. And what, so it's cool. So you kind of like um, kind of give each other advice and like and, and work together a little bit pre- preparing your performances. That's do you, cool. Do your parents both sing? Or where do you get this music? Yeah. Where's the musical talent come from? Does, hmm. I think you could say. Without getting in trouble. <laughs> One, two, three. Mama. <laughs> Our, mo- <laughs> Our mom. Sorry. Oh. Wow, nice timing. Got there. <laughs> so, your mom's, so your mom is a, is a singer as well? Yes, we got it from her. Love cool. that. I love that. Okay, so let's go back to competition talks for just a oh, second. Yeah. Well, so so um, well the next night, right? The, so then was after that was the finals. I was gonna ask you a different question, oh, but yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, let's talk about so now the finals was at the Zinflix Arena. Yeah. That was a that's a big, much bigger venue, big lighting system, mm-hmm. video screens, big audience. What was that night like? Oh, okay. You should start because I started. Go. So like it. If I felt really nervous because it was like an actual like theater, and my performance was pretty good in general, and when I listened to the Chloe's, I felt like it was like better than mine. I'm like, oh my gosh, the Chloe's gonna win first place, and then, um, cause like she's singing like a really good song, but then like I got really surprised when I was like third place, and I was like so happy because mm-hmm. yeah. It was a good night. That was a it was an awesome performance from mm-hmm. both of you guys. It was um Yeah, you're both a very yeah, very strong voices. It was just really nice to hear. The thing about singing competitions again, I, I sing as well, and one thing about like what I've come to learn about them is it's like whether or not you win is kind of it's not really like it's so what somebody looks for in like what they think is a good mm-hmm. performance or a good voice, it's so subjective, right? Like somebody mm-hmm. So, like, I'm trying to think back now. I'm not going to say anything specific, but, like, I'm trying to remember, like, do I agree with how all the results were? All the, I mean, I remember even from judges when we were talking about other things, everybody kind of had their favorites, you know? So, it's a very subjective thing. Right. But but I will say now as a singer, it's like, I don't really put that much weight in, like, how you do in a singing competition. It's really just, like, you give your best performance, you know? Mm -hmm. You just do the best you can do. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. 
and say so chloe you let's bring it to the long and mcquaid competition while yeah, we're still that's... talking on singing competitions yeah. um you are the reigning champ correct yeah from season 17. cool how does that feel it was after center stage i think that was my second competition mm -hmm. i was really happy that i won that one that was a much longer one and more like social media involved like oh. it was like live and everything aside from center stage um so because i won that competition last year i'm gonna be performing at it this year as a guest with that's my own cool songs. oh fun wait you see with your own song mm -hmm. oh what are you gonna perform or are you, are you, not, are you not saying yet you'll see it's coming <laughs> cool but, okay so let's still talk a little bit about that so that was your second competition long and mcquade i think so yeah what did you like um do you feel that there were things you learned in the Canada Center stage that you were able to bring forward, or like, did you maybe you had like a a, 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 a mentality you were able to bring forward, or how, how do you, how do you think did it help you singing that previous one going into the Long Island Quaid? I mean, like the experience definitely, like getting along with other contestants, taking the judges' advice, mm -hmm. and like just like the overall what mm -hmm. a competition is like in general. I was able to take that to my next competition. Cool. That's awesome. And you said it was much longer. So were there more were there more rounds, or was it you mentioned something about uh, social media as well. So, like, what was that? So, um, I'd say that, like, each round is longer in general. It'd be, like, late at night. Um, oh. There's, like, qualifying, semifinal, then finals. But there are multiple qualifying rounds. There were more people. Like, mm -hmm. it was a big venue. Um, Do you remember the name? What venue it was? It was, like, I think it was a Portuguese place. I think it's somewhere in Toronto, though. I know that. Um, okay. What else? But, um, yeah, I, the, oh, multiple people that I know have been on it too. So it was like, it was oh, like, oh, cool. you know, like pre they pre performed previously, like competed in it. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then you, uh, so what did it feel like to, uh, to, to win? win? Well, that it was a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. And I've improved like the songs that I've sang there. Like I say this so many times because I mean it. I've improved, like I can sing that song, you know, like better now yeah mm -hmm. but like again i'm proud of myself for what i did there it was a lot of experience you know the judges gave comments we had like rehearsals and all that sound checks like a lot was learned there too like in each competition i have winning it i mean i was proud of myself and i was also proud of her because she was a finalist cool so yeah that's so cool uh Catherine, are you doing any competitions coming up um well I'm planning, like, I want to go, like, back to CNE because, like, last year I didn't go to the finals. And CNE is, like, a really fun competition because you just, like, wait at the back and there's, like, so many people you can get along with. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, you know what? Actually, that is, I, I, how many, I've only competed in a couple singing competitions. And, yeah, some of the most fun is, yeah, being backstage, just hanging out with all the other performers. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I remember the first one I did. Got many so nervous. many moons ago. <laughs> yeah, I got so nervous. So like, I was doing a song. I decided to do a song in Tagalog because it was like kind of a Filipino competition. And the problem with that is like, so I don't I don't speak Tagalog, <laughs> and so when I'm like learning the songs, I have to like I'm trying to just memorizing the, s the phrases, but I don't really know. And so like, I got so I was so worried mm -hmm. that like I was gonna sing it wrong. So like backstage, I kept singing it over and over again, and I think I like made my voice tired. Oh no! And then when I actually went out and sang, it's like some of the high notes I like. I didn't uh -oh. hit them very nicely. I was, oh. I was, I was. Yeah, I, I, I think I got too nervous and too in my mm -hmm. own head about it. Instead of warming up, you warm down. <laughs> I went beyond warming up. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, but again, it was like early, and I, I was it, it, it was a lesson that I learned to like. You know, you almost have to not let yourself get too in your head. You just got to just treat it like. No, it's a performance. You're gonna go out. You warm up. You go do your mm -hmm. thing, and that's mm -hmm. you know, that's that's how you do it. Well, let's go back to the chats, shall we, Scott? Oh, we got some more people. Um, Tetri says, "I'm telling Papa." Oh, when you said about who's a singer. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> I think he'd be fine with that. <laughs> He's here. Don't worry. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> and uh, Rodel Giuliano says, "So proud of these girls." Thank you. Oh, do I and remember that. Who's that? Papa. I don't know. And Virgilio Tiongson says they always compete with each other and each singing con. Oh, so you, so, oh, so you always join competitions together? I mean, the same competitions, yes, yeah. but because like we have like a sim like a small age gap, you could say. Yeah. We like 
most of the time we're in the same category. Not all the time though. Yeah, it's like the only competition I, I we weren't together in is like the version plus one like in Pacific Mall. She didn't join. Oh no. I joined so I got first place and yeah. Oh nice. Cool. Do you ever do songs together? Well, oh, we've done. I think this was the first one because we usually like planning solos and all that. But the first um, duet was like a Christmas one. Oh, you know, nice. Christmas. No, do you remember that one when we were little in the Calle yeah, and and we sang Senorita together? Oh, well, like, <laughs> yes, but like that was like not arranged. We had the Christmas one arranged for us. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So when you're competing against each other, do you find there's an element of? Uh, well, like so. In fact, we had my brother on uh, mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago. He's very competitive. Well, we, him and I both. Yeah, but we, he's we, more competitive with you. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask because yeah. these guys are siblings too. So me and my brother both. My brother won um, a video game this competition. We were at a, at a at a thing. It was like for a duck hunt. Mm. It was like a game, and he won. And I competed too, and I went first, and I beat the high score, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm so good. But then because I got the high score, my brother said in his head, he was like, I have to beat my brother. Oh. He just really wanted, like, we compete with each other. So I'm wondering, are, are you, are, are you guys kind of like that? Do you guys compete against each other a little bit? Is there like a sibling competition a little bit? You want to say? Or do you want me to say? You can both say your know. own answers. <laughs> okay, so this is my honest opinion. Yeah. Um, it, I get that we're competing against each other, but my mentality is like, we're trying to make it through together. Oh, that's nice. You know, like that. And if we don't, obviously we support each other because that has happened before. That's good. What about you? Catherine's like, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> what she said. Catherine's like, I want to win. Mm. Or no, you can be honest. You can say yeah, that. Like, I like making rounds with us and Chloe because um, it feels nice when we both make it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because like sometimes when like, only one of us make it like sometimes like the other is like sad or something mm-hmm. makes sense yeah that's good would you do a competition as a duet do they have yeah do they have those you know i'd be down if they were allowed i'd be down for that that's cool mm-hmm. <laughs> Catherine, would you be down for that <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> So between, I guess you guys have done a few different competitions now. Mm. Do you guys prefer kind of the atmosphere of like a competition or do you prefer more like a concert type performance? Like say Moana or like when you're just doing a regular. Oh, triple act. Like what, what, yeah, what do you, what do you prefer? So concert or competition? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean like, I think I enjoy concerts. They're like, like yes, you have, they both are kind of like nerve wracking when you, have them but i feel like a concert is more enjoyable although they're both you know good choices Mm -hmm. what do you think yeah like i like concerts too because like it's like more fun for me and it's not that pressuring as competitions Mm -hmm. yeah like because in competitions like when you mess up people are like oh it's okay but then like when you mess up in like a concert like i feel like it's much better because like everybody's just cheering you on Mm -hmm. and it's also really nice because i don't (laughs) because like my friends are like always there like watching me you know Mm -hmm. and you can always like hang out backstage so yeah nice uh, and speaking of concerts, let's plug in. Uh, so, Chloe, you are part of JDL Triple Act. Yeah. And I know you have a concert coming up. Do you want to plug that in? Okay. So, we're having a concert on May 11th at the Meeting House at 7 p.m. Um, the practices I've had on Friday and Saturday are regarding that. So, we're just, like, really busy before it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but we want to say thank you to everyone who um, bought tickets for that. And sorry who... Couldn't watch it, but I hope that you all enjoy it. And are tickets still available? Um, we're kind of sold out. Oh, oh, nice. So nonchalant. We're kind of sold out. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. So you snooze, you lose. But I'm sure it'll be an amazing show. Mm-hmm. Um, and JDL Triple Act is on social media, correct? Mm-hmm. On YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Cool. Perfect. I can uh, get, after the show, get, I'll get the links from you, and we'll put them in the description, so you guys mm-hmm. can follow them on yeah. uh, on social media that's exciting yeah i think between if i'm picking between competition or concerts i, I prefer concerts myself mm-hmm. 
That's the thing. I think I've come to realize it's like people have this idea about contests or concerts or, mm-hmm. or competitions where it's like people think, oh, yeah, once if you're trying to be a singer, once you like win the competition, oh, you made it. But I think actually the real experience of being a singer is it's, it's like kind of the journey. You know, and it never really comes out of like one performance. Like you were saying earlier, how you look at some of your earlier performances and you're like, oh, I can't even, uh, yeah, can't believe like I used just, to sing like that, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think it's about the experience of like going through it. So yeah, you've had that if you watch some of your older performances, you don't like how you sang it? It's just like the difference between <laughs> how I sang then and now is just like, yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Kathy? I'm like, you know, sometimes people, like watch us like our old tingy videos and i just want to tell them that we improved mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah because like yep. yeah so how old were you both then when you or when your parents realized that you could sing oh that like ever since we were like young right we have videos like um when it's like okay frozen the movie yeah when watching it there was a sis- i remember my sister was like holding a remote <laughs> eating it while singing <laughs> so that's like they already knew we could sing uh we sang for fun but now we're like you know taking it seriously yeah yeah we have um you know the, kind of that natural ability that you like your parents realize you have that natural like oh they kind of have the inclination mm-hmm. and uh it's good how was the Very microphone good. did it taste good no the remote <laughs> tv remote oh, yeah the remote I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious. It was delicious. Um, uh, let's see. AJ Manuel official oh, says, Oh, no. Hi, Chloe. Hi. <laughs> Say. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute laugh. Hello, AJ. What's up? What's up? Catherine, mm-hmm. you have the cutest laugh. Uh, uh, Elena says Catherine is so funny, man. <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah, she, she can is. Be a little chaotic. Well, <laughs> she is right now. <laughs> Catherine, how old are you? I'm 10, I'm turning 11 in July. And nice. Chloe? I'm 13, turning 14 in September. That's cute. Nice. Those are funny. That's the same, that's the same um, three year difference. Yeah, that's me, that's so me, like me, and, me and my brother yeah. have the same difference. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good, it's a good spacing. It's yeah. It's a good spacing, yeah. Um, we should do the ad break. We're about a halfway point, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Good. Okay. So everybody... Is my mic messed up? No, it's fine. I feel like it sounds weird. It's fine. Maybe it's your headphone. Hey. Hey, but no, all of you guys sound good, but mine sounds kind of muffly. It's okay. Figure it out afterwards. Oh. Hi. That hurts Hi. Ears. Don't do anyway, that. I'm sorry if it sounds bad, everybody. This is this is how it is. We right? sound great. You guys all sound great. I just find mine fine. I feel like uh, something's wrong with it. No, we're fine. Okay. Anyway, everybody, today's episode of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by the following fantastic advertisers. They make this show possible. Mm-hmm. So let's meet them, shall we? Starting with our first advertiser, Jeanette McKenzie. The Toronto real estate market is growing and changing every day. In these challenging times, you need someone in your corner. Mm -hmm. Jeanette McKenzie, realtor at Forest Hill Signature, is committed to looking out for you. She'll go the extra mile to ensure you have all the information you need to make a decision you can feel confident about. Purchasing a home is one of the biggest financial investments you'll make in life. Don't leave it to chance. Mm -hmm. Call Jeanette McKenzie at Forest Hill Signature. She's my realtor, and she could be yours. Call today at 416-523-0408 or email at jmckenziehomes at gmail.com. Jewelry forever. Conveniently located at CF Markville Shopping Center on 5000 Highway 7 East Markham. They do custom-made jewelry repairs. They have laser engraving regime. (laughs) Laser engraving. And they change watch batteries all done on site. And we have an amazing deal worked out with them, don't we, Regine? Yes, we do. If you go in and let them know that Scott and Regine sent you, you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. That's right. 15% off. Mention the show. Get a great deal. He does custom stuff. If you need something custom made, he can do it. If something damaged, he can repair it. Amazing place. And uh, make sure you uh, follow them on uh, Instagram and TikTok. You can see some of those behind-the-scenes videos. Find out more at jewelry, jewelryforever.ca. Beautified by Romina. Internationally trained hair and makeup artist. She is the official makeup artist of the sit-down. Um, she was busy yesterday at Canada's Perfect Pageant Weekend. Oh. Uh, she does everything from pageants, uh, 
performances. I know she's done a bunch of JDL students as well. Weddings, engagements, date nights. Anything. Uh, red carpets. Mm-hmm. You know, she fixed my burned, sunburned nose. My nose got really red one time. Got burned. And I looked like just my nose. So I went and and, and she, she fixed it so I could go on stage and not look weird. Mm-hmm. Beautified by Romina. And if you would like to... Oh, yeah. Um, I would say check her out on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> and if you would like to advertise on the show, it's very easy, right, Regine? It's simple. All you have to do is email us at radioshowad. That's radioshowad at gmail.com. That's right. We do the show live every week, ladies and gentlemen. And we also do the ads live week to week. What does that mean? It means you can personalize them week to week. Mm-hmm. Do you have an event, a sale, something happening in a particular time, particular place? You let us know. We let your potential client base know in real time. It's a great way to build a brand new relationship with a brand new audience. Get in touch. Radio Show ad. Radio Show ad at gmail.com. <laughs> and we're back. We're back. If you're just tuning in, we are here with sisters, Catherine and Chloe Tiong Son. Hello. You muted oh, their mics. There they are. Say hello again. Hello. Hello. So this <laughs> this next segment I'm very excited for. So Ooh. Regine is tired because uh, she was at this pageant <clears throat> yesterday. Mm-hmm. I am kind of tired. I'm a little bit jet lagged because I f- was on vacation last week in Copenhagen. Oh, wow. It's a city in Denmark in Europe. And uh, when I was there, mm-hmm. every time I was in somewhere, if I saw like, cool looking weird snacks that i've never seen before Mm -hmm. i grabbed them so that we could try them on the show oh yeah yummy yeah yum yum hopefully you can eat some (laughs) yeah so we know chloe so you have a peanut allergy yes unfortunately okay so i'm not sure which of these might have peanuts so what we're going to do is we'll look at the ingredients some of the ingredients aren't in english so if we think there might be we'll just you won't have any we'll just let your sister taste it first yeah Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. okay so shall we shall we start our snack fest? Yeah. Okay. I'm Let's hungry. <laughs> so what will we start with? Okay. <clears throat> First one I saw. So have you guys you guys have heard of Mars bars, right? No. Yes. Oh wait, the yeah. Mars those... chocolate bar. Yes. Like, you know. Oh yes. But I have never seen Sorry. Mars cookies. Ooh, oh cookies. Caramel oh I love centers. caramel. Yeah. Me too. Now I feel like this probably has peanuts in it. Want me to read it? Yeah, but I, it only problem is a lot of it is in Danish. Let That's the language they speak there. See. Do, you, do we have a translator? Can we look it up? Like, how do you say peanuts in Danish? Or you could do those, like, picture translators where you take oh, a Oh, yeah, do you have that? And then it, like, translates. Yeah, in that's Dutch, even right? better. That's even better. Oh, uh, no, Danish, Danish. How to say peanuts in Danish. Camera search. J O R D N O D D R. Here, let's show the audience that. Peanuts. Jor- oh, oh Jordan Notter. In fact, hang on, we don't, don't do it. Oh, Kaya said she wants some. <laughs> well, it says allergy here. That's how you say do it. You, how do we spell it? J O R D N O D D E R, but it's pronounced. Can, I don't know if the audience can hear that. So that, I'm guessing that's gluten. I don't see it say anything on here. How about peanuts? I'm just too scared to. How severe is your allergy? Severe. Okay, let's not. So we probably should. Let's just, just not. Yeah, yeah cause it's probably I, not worth the risk. Yeah. No. Because when I eat something with peanuts, I can't like breathe in her face. Makes sense. Okay, no breathing in her face this time. Okay. They're cute. Show the camera. So these are them. These are. So again, these are not. Um, I don't think these are specific to to Denmark, but they're. Oh yeah, but they're. Um, they were in Denmark, and I've never seen them in Canada before. So show the cookies to the camera. Yep. Kyan and Joanne says I want some, and uh, and AJ Manuel says I'm <laughs> they hungry. They smell good. They do smell good. <laughs> Catherine's love. All right. So here's what they Kyan look like. Kyan says, "Let me eat it instead." <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they look like. This is a Mars. What is it? it? Mars lucky. Caramel Center. So you can try one. Thank you. So do you like Mars bars? Have you had a Mars bar before? Mars bars are mm, one of my no. favorites. No. I never had a Mars bar. All right. Shh. Sorry, Ate. All right. Going in for the bite. So soft. Oh, yeah. there's caramel in here. Yeah, it's Caramel Center. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah. It's good. 
It's okay. But you know, for it's me, a little bit on the drier side yeah, of the for a cookie. I, I, I would want it to be a little bit more moist. Mm. It's kind of crunchy. A little bit crunchy. You know what it kind the vibe yeah, is? The vibe is more like, mm. um, you know, those soft, supposed to be the like, chewy version of Chips Ahoy. Yeah, oh, that's what it's that. like. Oh, it's um, it's good. Okay, out of ten, what do you rate it? I give it like a six. It's not my favorite cookie. Mm -hmm. Do you like it, Catherine? What do you think? Like six point five. Six point five. Okay. I like the center of it. The center is nice, but I wish there was more of it. Yeah. I'd give it a seven. This might taste good heated up. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd give it a seven. Mars Caramel Centers. <clears throat> mm. Sorry, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that some more. Um. Mm. Well, that's probably me. I'm, like, so straight into the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Um, okay, this is in the same van. I bought it at the same spot. Mm. You guys have had Twix chocolate bars? Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard of them. Well, these, Regine's getting a picture. These are mm -hmm. Twix caramel centers. Oh, Yay. they're all caramel. <laughs> yeah, so, again, I don't know. It's the I same company. I wouldn't It's the same it. company. Mm. I don't know if there's peanuts or not. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you're feeling, you're feeling left out, Chloe. Yeah. Have some normal. water. <laughs> Drink your water. <laughs> yeah, stay hydrated, guys. So, I, I like the Twix chocolate bar. Do you like Twix? Mm hmm And you you haven't had Twix before? No. Twix is the one where it comes with, like, in a the cookie. package, there's, like, two. There's, like, two in there. Oh, two like Kit Kat? Kind, similar, except they're not kind attached. Of. It's like a cookie-based chocolate, mm -hmm. right? Maybe. Kind of? Yeah, kind with of. With caramel and chocolate? Yeah. But yeah, there's there's just two sticks inside, but they're not stuck together. You don't have to break it. It's just like two separate little sticks. You didn't show the camera. Oh yeah, this is what a Twix caramel center. And you know what? I anticipate this is not going to be that amazing. <coughs> Kyan and Joanne says, "Can you give me some, please?" Sure. Here. You just have to go to uh. Copenhagen. <laughs> here you go. Um, here you go. A Twix caramel center. Oh, okay. Twix caramel this center. This is thicker. Yeah. It is thicker, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. Going oh, in. I made a mess. Sorry. Take a bite. Is that right? Oh, it's crunchier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like it is. Mm. Yeah, it's crunchier. I haven't taken a bite yet. But the Twix is, the cookie in the Twix is, or whatever is in the center is typically crunchier. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't like this one. This kind of just tastes like a. It's a sugar cookie. It's not that flavorful. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? What do you think? It's like a tea biscuit. It tastes plain. Yeah. Not a sugar cookie, like a sugar cookie. I feel like cookie. there's not enough in it. Like, it's mostly like this cookie, and it's pretty empty. Mm. It's boring. Four and a half for me? I'd give it a four. Ooh, that thing? We give it. I will say this. It's not gross. Like, it doesn't taste bad. It's just kind of a little bit boring. Yeah. Like, you know, I'll give it a four and a half. Four and a half, so we both give like, it Like, you know those cookies in a tin? This could be a cookie in the tin. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does taste like that. Yeah. This does not taste like Twix at all. Mm -mm. That's okay. Which is almost more disappointing. Like, I almost feel like, because they've marketed it to me as Twix, and I know what Twix bars taste like, mm -hmm. I'm like, mm, nah. I'm going to be so hyper after this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. already are hyper. <laughs> Chloe's missing out. AJ says, yeah, Chloe's missing out. <laughs> All right, this next one, I don't think it has peanuts. Oh. I don't think these are specific to Denmark, but I've never seen them before. Have you read them? They are sour UFOs. Oh. Ooh. Can I read the ingredients? Mm-hmm. My girlfriend says she's had these before. She had them when she when she was a kid. She said. Oh, she's your mm. girlfriend. No, no, I'm yeah. not. No, no, girlfriend. she's not. But. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. But my girlfriend, not her, ha said she's had these before. I thought mm. you guys were like in a relationship. Oh, no, well, I'm married. Just a, she's married. Yeah. Aww. It's a, she, a professional no, professional relationship. <laughs> it's like oh, we're not all. No, it, it's okay. Yeah, we both we both we're both in separate relationships. Mm. That's funny. Just to clarify. Yeah. Do you see uh, any peanuts? I don't think they're... How do I say peanuts again? The jo Jana. You need to learn. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm-hmm. It's a challenging accent. Mm-hmm. But the problem is, is all. Oh, okay. Here, all ingredients, right? Is it? That... See, I don't know. <laughs> okay, DK is Danska. That's d- a Dutch. <clears throat> So, da, 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 da. I'm just looking for you, that word with a J. I don't think there's peanuts. What's in nuts? Well, this is peanut. Yeah, but nut would still be the same. Okay, nut. Nud. Nud. <laughs> that sounds silly. Uh, yeah. That's how you say it. It sounds like you're singing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't I don't think there's peanuts in this because like it's literally like. It's gummy. Oh. Yeah. I don't okay. Know. All right. <laughs> Wait, why did AJ say my name? Catherine, ha ha ha. She's just, yeah, she's just laughing eating. at you. Alright, here, have a UFO. This looks like styrofoam. Yeah, okay. Pick a UFO. Hmm, what cookie? Oh! It got Thanks. a cookie. Are you gonna... So apparently it's sour. It's sour? It, it feels like... like a wafer paper. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like styrofoam. I've never had this before. Pretty first of ASMR. Okay, you ready? finish this twist. Like Catherine, do you have like? Oh wait, you're still eating your cookie. Okay, yeah, hang on. Yeah, you can wash down your cookie. It's like it smells like a well. Perfume. It says it's gluten free. We okay, got gluten free, oh. vegan. Yeah, gluten free and vegan. I'm just worried for Catherine. I don't really smell like I anything. mean, not Catherine. Chloe. I don't think there's, there's no way there's peanuts in this. Like, there's no reason why it would even have peanut. Like, it's just. I think it's just sugar. Looks like it. Yeah. It feels weird. Yeah. Can you test this? Are you this? biting it? Or is something in it? There's something in it? The sugar or the sour is in the inside. Oh. Okay. All right. Are you biting it? Okay. Eat some more. Okay. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not eat some Why is it like air? I told you. Though. It almost feels like... It's weird. The outside almost doesn't taste like anything. Just the inside has like um sugar, um like sour sugar. Yeah, that's stuff in it. It's sour. Not that sour. <sighs> the That's outside weird. is like hardened cotton candy. But I don't, I don't, it doesn't really taste like anything. I don't like it. It doesn't really taste like anything. Oh, the inside's good. Yeah. Hey, this one mm. is... Oh, okay. oh, that was good. This one is blue and green. Oh. oh like I if, like I, that. if I just eat the outside, it tastes like nothing. Yeah, the inside's good. Can I have seconds? No. Oh. The inside is good. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you can mm-hmm. have it. Oh, I found See, the purple it's so one. Cool. Oh no, this is pink. It's, oh no! It's purple. Look, when I bite it, it's like... There's no, air look, it's yeah. white and pink. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, so the I inside... Like that. I like this one. Yeah. The inside is it's hollow. It's only when I tried. The inside is hollow. Mm-hmm. You're eating <laughs> sour air. <laughs> but when you have some of the inside with it, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. I don't hate this. Catherine's face. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what do we rank these? Mm, this is a different flavor. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> sour. Super sour? Oh, I don't, I don't find them sour. I don't like it. They're not super sour. So, Regine, what's your rating? I'm I don't like, like it. Like a one, two? I'll give it a two. Oh. I kind of... <laughs> these girls are struggling. <laughs> sour. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I, I got I... some of it flinged on my face. Oh, oh no! Well, don't just pop it all in your mouth. No. Yeah, there you go. Oh. He did the same thing. <laughs> I just poured a bunch of powder all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the struggle is real. The outside, I don't really like the taste of the outside, but when you have the inside with it, it's just pretty the good. Mm-hmm. I don't know, seven for me. My turn. So, the, my analysis. It's like dried up cotton candy, but then oh. the inside is like sugar powder that melts in your mouth, and then everything starts melting. The first one was more sweet, the second one was more sour. Mm-hmm. This is the first one I tried. So I'd say like a seven. Seven. I'm like two. <laughs> no. I like the cookies better to than To me, I like the that. outside tastes like cardboard almost. Like That's why I don't no like care. it. But as you chew it, ooh, they're sour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My gum like feels tingly. Uh oh. Are you allergic to anything? <laughs> no. All right. So seven. Uh, wh- what was your ranking, Catherine? Did you rank it? Um, like a six. Six. Not a huge fan. Though. Not a huge fan. Okay. All right. So that was sour UFOs. I'm not good. Okay. Mic dropped. Um, this next one. <laughs> this next one, I was just interested in, and you guys are gonna see why in a second. Um. Because it is 
Filipinos. <laughs> Filipinos. Aww. I've never seen that before. Have you seen that before? Mm-mm. I didn't know that there she was a candy. definitely can't eat that. Yeah, I think there's probably nuts in it. Yeah, probably. All the Filipino stuff. Los originales. Filipinos. I didn't know Filipinos were also a candy. See what Filipinos is in Dutch. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like it will be <clears throat> Filipinos. No, Dutch into Filipino. Oh. Uh, Dutch into English. Oh, wait. Oh, so this is... Oh, wait. Yeah, no, not Dutch. Danish. 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 Um, you can just reverse it. I don't know how to use this. Okay, go back. <laughs> Hit X. Hang on. I'll just go like this. Danish to English. Filipinos is Filipino. Okay. Oh. Can I see something? Yes. I'm like, where is this made? Why is there no English That's on here? Because it's from it's from. But it's not. It's from a different country, and they just put a sticker. So that means it's it. So this is not a Danish snack. I just saw it, and I was like, I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. I just want to know where it's come from. Probably the Philippines. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. I'm like, why would they make know. their own chocolate? Bar? So you guys ever heard of this before? We knew. <clears throat> nope. All right. So yeah, there, there might be nuts in this. I don't know. I think maybe you should steer clear. Anything that's kind of this color, I think it's probably safe, right? So, I mean, safe, Anything not chocolate, safe, safe or not Don't chocolate. eat it, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, la, la, so. La. Oh, they're like cookies. Oh, they're chocolate. Filipinos. Oh, no, I'm going to become so hyper. <laughs> they're like little, oh, they're like, they're little, like donuts. little donuts. Little chocolate donuts. Okay. Let's see this. Oh. Filipinos, everybody. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. ASMR, right. ASMR. Okay. Go for it. Oh, oh yum. Good? Mm, yeah. And they have a logo at the back. Oh, oh yeah. They do. Mm -hmm. Little F. Mm. Oh, it's kind of like, what, what, what's this crunchiness? It's like a crunchy, very... It's a cookie. What's inside? Like a cookie, yeah. It's like a typical Wait, again. cookie covered in chocolate. Mm. Okay. I've never heard of this. It tastes like something I've had before. I kind of want to know about it. So far. Um, Filipinos cook, cookie cookies. Yeah. Here we go. Let's show the audience this. I've never heard of this before. Filipinos is the brand name for a series of biscuit donut snacks made by Mandalas International in France, the Netherlands, Spain, Portugal, mm -hmm. and most Nordic countries. They are produced under and sold under the Our Attack brand name. They have drawn controversy. Oh, they have drawn controversy for having the same name as the people of the Philippines. So they have absolutely nothing to do with the Philippines except oh. the name. Can you just see what their ingredient list is in English? Oh, I guess we can. Um, variations. Go back. Do, do, do. It's a Google thing. Um, cookies, ingredients. Yeah. Is it good? Wheat yeah, flour, I milk chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, cocoa paste, skim milk powder, lactose, milk fat, emulsifier, oh, sunflower. There's a lot more ingredients in there. Yeah. We'll find out for you, Chloe. We're trying to see if there's peanuts in it. Mm -hmm. Keep sorting. Glucose. Drip, I don't think there are peanuts. Mm -hmm. May contain soy and eggs. Okay. So, so I think you can have it because what did it say may contain peanuts, peanuts. or nuts? Right. Yeah. It's up to you. So it's up, it's up to you if you want one or not. But anyways. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. You're not missing out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's an okay cookie. It's okay. It's literally... Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what's your ranking? Like a six. Six? I would give it a... I like it better than the Twix. Mm. I do like it better. Well, what do we... But we gave the Twix like a four, right? No, we gave the Twix like a six. We did? What did we give a four? Did we give anything a four? No. I thought the Twix cookies we gave four. Maybe you thought about it. Because she said 6.5. You said 6.5. No, I think there was a 6.5 and a 4.5. No, there, that, I, no, I think, I think there was a five. Viewers, <laughs> we forgot what we ranked them. We'll Can you tell us? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not crazy about them. Like, I, I you know what? I, I give those a five. Like, if I saw those on the shelf again, I don't mm -hmm. think I would, I would buy them again. Mm. Would you? Mm-mm. I give it a, I guess a five. It's fine. It's just a cookie. It's hey, a cookie. Thanks for the ASMR, Catherine. LOL. <laughs> You're welcome. You go. You're welcome, Catherine. <laughs> or Kyan and Joanne. There you go. Uh, what's your ranking? Five. Five. It's just, it's, it's fine. It's just fine. 
It's a fine cookie. Um, bam. It's again. It's giving those chocolate or the cookies in a tin. Yeah, you're right, and it's actually not one of the ones that I would go for. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. You know what? That tastes more like if there was caramel in that. That would taste more like a Twix than the Twix cookie. True. You're right. You're right. All right. I saw these. I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, they're kind of heavy. Oh. They're called Tom's C Classic Mix. Oh. Looks kind of like a licorice thing. Ew. There's several of them. Um. Yeah, I don't know, and I don't think there's peanuts in this but we can i check. just wouldn't risk it she already risked it with the ufos <laughs> yeah but let me see if i'm just looking at the ingredients i'm curious if in Grubo other places syrup. besides north america if they even put nuts as an allergen mm -hmm. that's true but they would have to list it as an ingredient mm. if it is right uh cocos i don't think there are nuts in this but let's just if you just want to be careful yeah Okay, so uh, this one, it looks like there are four in here. I don't know if they all taste different or not. They probably do. There's a fat one, and there are three skinny ones. Look, and there's, like, half. stuff inside. Yeah, should we cut it? Oh, true. There's really one have... twisty fat one. Yeah. You tell them. I like the Do you want to try that one? Okay. Okay, yeah. I'll take the twisty one. You're giving okay. her so much sugar. Her parents are going to be thing. so mad at us. Um, okay, which one do you want? I just want her reaction first. Okay, so you're trying the yellow one twisty fat one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is it hard? Can I, I can't bite it. Can you Google and see how to eat that thing? I think you just bite it. What do you mean? Okay, you, you try it. one, Scott. Okay. Ugh. Okay, don't break your teeth. <laughs> it won't even bite. Yeah. Oh, they're hard. They are heavy, yeah. Okay, this one... Okay, don't bite into it. So this one's red and it's got like something inside. Can I, let me it see smells, if I can rip it. It smells very sweet. Oh! <laughs> no, that, okay. that, that was like a snap. Do you want to try that one? Okay. You want a piece? Oh, this is a little bit yeah. softer. Try it. Thanks. So this one is red on the outside. You know why it's softer? Because Scott warmed it up in his hands. Okay. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, this one's good. It tastes like candy. Oh. Okay, good. Never mind. Regular gummy. There's something... <laughs> this is good. Never mind. <laughs> right, pass the yellow one. Let me see if I can rip it. Mm. I don't like this. It's very licorice. It's a little weird. There's... Is it good licorice? Had something random in the middle of it. Yeah. No. I don't like it. <clears throat> I don't know which side she likes, Scott. Be careful. <laughs> oh, yeah, you kind of licked some of it. Ah, whatever. She was like gnawing on the <laughs> Okay, whatever. I'm just going to bite this. What if she bit that side? Oh, well. Okay. How did he bite it? Exactly. I had to bite it hard. It's oh. really. I don't like this at all. It doesn't really even taste like anything. I don't like this. Oh. I'm good. I'm not a big fan of this. Yeah. This tastes like nothing. I'd rather eat the chocolate cookies again. <laughs> I'm not sure what flavor that's supposed to be. It's red inside with something yellow. That's gross. This one looks like it's black with something yellow in the middle. Like, I don't yeah, mind I... licorice, but I don't... I don't know what the heck that was. I don't want any. Oh, this <laughs> is like dark licorice. I don't know if you like dark licorice. No. Like black mm, licorice. We don't really eat licorice. Yeah. And that's why what she... is licorice? It's like the candy. Like, Ooh, um... this is like... <laughs> well, there is some licorice we're going to have to try. I'll show you in a second. Oh, no. Mm. Ooh. I mean, actually, I don't hate this, but I, unless you like licorice, I don't think you like it. What the heck, Catherine? <laughs> I mean, it's sand. And then what's the last one? I eat all of it. Oh, oh, I just want to know dude. what the last one is. Why do you it's keep... like an elastic band. No one wants it. <laughs> oh, she does. She's brave. I don't know if we're going to like it. Tastes like It smells like chocolate. Try it. Does it smell like chocolate, Scott? <laughs> Oh, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is... Like, lick it, lick it, lick it. I think this is dark licorice. Uh -oh. I think that's what it is. Maybe it's like, like, oh, I think it's chocolate in the middle. I see. And then she eats it. <laughs> She's not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like gummy bears, but like chocolate flavored. What? Yeah, it's a little weird. I'm okay. This is a weird candy. Mm -hmm. I knew it was weird when I saw it in the store. I'm like, I don't know what this is, but it's weird. Mm. So I'm going to give it a... Oh, it tastes like Nesquik. Oh. The chocolate in the middle, yeah. I don't hate the chocolate. 
I don't know how to grade this because it's like either, everyone tasted different. Right. Hey, make an average. Use your math skills. Would you buy that again? No. No. There you I go. would never you buy that. The... <laughs> there you go. There's right. your answer. I'm going to give it a four then. Because all I kind of liked was the chocolate in the middle of that one. I think I like the UFO more than I like that one. So, so gonna I'm going to bump this to a four and give that, that a, a two. <laughs> two. Okay. What do you give it, Catherine? She's still eating it. I feel like I get like a two. Two. Of the ones you Not tried, Scott, of the four of them, which one do you prefer? The one with the chocolate in the middle? Of course you would. <laughs> How about you, Catherine? This one. Yeah, Same thing. Chocolate. And this one tastes like nothing. Like, I know you weren't able to buy this one, but it tastes like nothing. Like, oh. tastes like nothing. Maybe she gnawed the taste out of it and that's what yeah. you ate. <laughs> no, it tastes like nothing. Okay. Yuck. What do we got left? One. We only have two left. Wow. Okay. What is that? So this, one thing I learned in when I was in Denmark is that they really like licorice. Mm. So I was at an ice cream shop. Is that in English? No. Well, that says the original oh, is. Oh, ingredients? Yeah. Um, ingredients, 63% milk, chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, cocoa mass. No, you just gotta look for the may contains. So if there's soy. Emulsifier, soy, lictin, lictin, natural vanilla flavor, rice flour, sugar, invert, sugar syrup, treacle, glucose syrup, 3% raw licorice, nani you, uh, wrap seed oil, Salt, glazing agent, shellac, anise oil, cocoa solids, 34% minimum, milk solids, 80% minimum. Much. Okay, so there's no pe peanuts in this. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I went to an ice cream shop, and when I was there, I was like, they had this one flavor, and it was all like in, in Danish, right? All the, all the thing. And then like, one of the ice creams, it was like a light brown color. Oh. And I was like, oh, that, what is that? Could that be like chocolate or coffee flavor? I don't know. I'm like, oh, I'll have this one. And it, it was labeled Lacrids, L-A-K-R-D-S. Mm -hmm. I was like, can I get that one? And the guy was like, oh, licorice? And I was like, I was like, did he say licorice? I'm like, oh, that doesn't look like licorice. I don't think that's licorice. Mm -hmm. um, so I had it. I and, think the same size. Oh, there you go. And, um, but it was licorice. It was licorice flavor ice cream. Mm. And what I learned when I was in, in Denmark is that they love licorice. There's licorice everywhere. So oh. this, was a, this was a candy that I kept seeing everywhere. So this <clears> is <throat> chocolate-coated licorice oh yeah so they had different flavors but i thought i'd get the original they had like passion fruit and strawberry and a bunch oh, yeah. but this is chocolate fla co chocolate coated mm. i actually bought this in the airport smell it it smells like chocolate yeah oh. i mean it's chocolate on the outside licorice I'm on the inside i'm not a chocolate person you brought home all this chocolate mm. yeah you gonna taste it <laughs> it's like a fruit yeah. So there's tr so the outside I believe it's, is chocolate, like maybe powder. Yeah, I think it's cocoa powder. Chocolate. Oh, yum! It smells. And then the inside. I'm so scared for is, is licorice. <laughs> so let's see if you like the inside. Chloe, do you have allergy medicine? Just in case. There's no peanuts. It's not I know, peanuts. but you never know. Well, it says right on here. If, 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 if it's and the English, the ingredients were in English. Okay. All right, going for it. <laughs> Catherine doesn't, it doesn't seem, smell right. Catherine doesn't seem excited. Ooh. Oh, okay. I don't like those. I didn't even get to the licorice part. <laughs> you okay. have to bite through. I no, I to. just licked it. I don't like it. I like the chocolate. The outside doesn't taste like the inside. Oh. But the inside is licorice. I'm good. Scott, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what the heck? Do licorice. You like that? Yes. Why is it like bitter? So that's the licorice. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat it. <laughs> Chloe's so happy she was able to eat this one. <laughs> oh. Drink your water, girl. I don't have any more water. Oh no! I drank I all of it. The outside has a bitter taste. The, the powder on the outside does not taste good. That's Can you good. refill my water? That's what doesn't taste good. Yeah. No, Here. but you know the inside. I don't mind the inside. Hey, the chocolate's good. Once you bite through the inside, that's all on you. It's spot. not bad. I didn't taste it. It tastes good. Oh, I don't want to. Not the, par not the powder. Yeah, you have to like bite through. You have to go. You have to go. <laughs> But the outside doesn't taste good. I don't like the outside at all. Oh, I like the chocolate. No, the chocolate inside. Yeah, let me let me like wipe. Like I almost find you just have to start chewing it, and then the powder gets absorbed. 
Ja. Ah. <laughs> Try to lick I all the outside. Why do you keep eating it if you don't like it? Because I like the curious. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Try to lick through. the outside and then you'll see what it tastes like. The I'm outside being does so not messy taste good. right now. It's okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you got a tissue. Yeah, the scenes. Yeah, the outside doesn't Oops. taste good. I had to get a cookie to like clear my mouth from that. <laughs> oh no, my ch oh there. Okay. Good thing I only licked it. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? She's curious. The chocolate is so good. The chocolate is nice. Just rip off the outside. Okay, now it's good. And the inside has chocolate and licorice. Ooh. Mm. I actually don't dislike the outside. Mm. Mm. The outside's very bitter, though. Yeah. Okay, what are our ratings? I'm sticking to the cookie. Regine, one out of ten? Mm-hmm. But to be fair, I'm not a chocolate person. Mm. Are you a licorice person? No. Mm. Um, mm. Rating? Mm. Chocolate's nice. Outside's all right. Then try the licorice. Let me. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, so I think you just gotta you gotta go bite your whole thing and get the flavor. The outside is very bitter. I don't like the outside at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. Um. Only thing good about it was the chocolate. So like. 3.5. Hmm? 0.5. Whoa. 5 out of 10. Catherine's least favorite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know what? 7.5 for me. Mm. None of none of them are 10 yet. Mm -mm. That's true. We haven't oh, had any yeah. 10s. And we only have one left. Mm -hmm. We only have one left. Um, so this one, my understanding is that this one is very, spe this one is specifically from Denmark. Mm. But it's also, um, I think a few other European countries have it because I saw in the comments because I first heard about these on Instagram. Somebody p talked about it, and then some people were like, "Oh, we have that in Germany." So there might be a few other er European countries that have it. Mm -hmm. But what this is, it's called. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's chocolate. But let me see can, uh, the ingredients. Where are the ingredients list? Is there peanuts? I don't know. But what this is, this is apparently a breakfast food. Mm. What it is, is a very, very thin Ooh. pieces of chocolate Ooh. that you're supposed to have on bread. Oh, yummy. Yeah. So can we find, is there a way we can find the ingredients to see if there's peanuts in it? Because I don't know if there would be because I think it's just chocolate. It's not the fact if there's chocolate uh, peanuts in it. It's if there may contain traces of nuts in Makes it. Makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see. What? Let me try to type the ingredients. M-O-R-K... P P A L A E Paleag Chocolate. There we go. Ingredients. Boom. Um You should just put peanut free and see if it will tell you. Oh, can you do that? Uh-huh. Um okay. Is is do 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 do, 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 do. Um, Why do you bring home only chocolate stuff? I think they just like the chocolate over there. Peanut free. Let's see. Our chocolate is peanut tree and sesame free. Okay, wait. That's not that's not this brand though. It's chocolate tails. Um, I don't know if we can find a. Uh, uh. You silly! You're supposed to open it this way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I opened it wrong. That's okay. Um, I don't. Yeah. What does it say on the box? Chloe, it's up to you if you want to risk it. Mm -hmm. I think it's mostly just chocolates. But, but it's also the factory in which it's made. Yeah. <sighs> ingredients. Yeah, I think the ingredients is just cacao mass and Roy, Roy, Roy Sucker. <laughs> R-O-R-S-U-K-K-E-R. -K -K -E Translate. That is, oh, sugar, it looks sugar. like. So it's basically a sugar and cocoa mass. That's all that's in this. Mm. It looks like. So, I, yeah, I think it's just literally chocolate. So I don't know if you want to try it or not. It's up to you. I'm good. Okay. So. You already tried enough. It, <laughs> you're supposed to have it with uh, buttered bread. So. 
Mmm, yum. <laughs> Why are you still laughing? Do I take a bread or the plate? I take the plate, I guess. It says an A on it. I think you can have the bread with butter. <laughs> really? But yeah, no peanuts in there. Okay, so yeah, this is literally. <laughs> Wait, you gave her a piece with two chocolate and you gave yourself one. I'll have to. <laughs> is uh, it good? How is it? It's good. <laughs> Would you have this for Would you have this for breakfast? No. Apparently, it's very common over there to have it with breakfast. Oh, it's like dark chocolate. Oh. Oh yeah, I think they had milk and dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess you prefer milk chocolate, yeah. Her so face says like it, it all. I'm just watching her eat it. <laughs> How's your bread? <laughs> all right, I'm going for a bite. Oh, he took a big bite. I mean. It tastes exactly like what it is. It tastes like chocolate on bread. I'm not oh. a chocolate person, but we'll try it. I mean, I'm not sure if I would have this regularly. Mm -mm. Do you like it, Catherine? I like the bread. <laughs> <laughs> is it bitter? Yeah. It's because it's dark chocolate. So I guess if it was milk chocolate, you might like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I agree with Catherine. I like the bread. <laughs> um, I like the butter. What if it was warm? Yeah, maybe people. Like, what if it up. was melted? Then would you like it? I don't know. <laughs> After he keeps biting into it, you don't have to finish it. <laughs> I think she likes it a little bit. She keeps going for more. I had never heard of this before I saw it in Denmark. You know what? This is pretty good. I'll give this like an 8.5. Whoa. I mean, it's chocolate. And if it was milk chocolate, which I know they have, I might, I'd might i like it even more. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like a um, piece of bread with chocolate on top. I mean, that's of it. that's what it is. It's like, okay. Because I don't know how to rank it low. Cause it's what it is. What do you rank it? Well, you don't really like chocolate, though. Catherine? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 10 out of 10. There you go. <laughs> I'll rate it a 9.9. .9. Oh, really? Oh. So you really like it? Wow. And if it was milk, you'd probably like it even more, right? Yeah, it would be a 10. Wow. Mm. Danish breakfast has won over Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, sure. <laughs> She's enjoying it. She's eating it. Well, everybody, that concludes our Danish snack segment. Yay! Yay! I liked our Filipino snack segment better. Yeah. I think Chloe only got to eat, like, two of them. Yeah. They're did, good, though. Did, oh, did it's kind of bitter. Mm. How yeah. is your throat feeling? Oh, fine. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> oh, you know what's cool? One thing I got <clears throat> there. I've never seen this here. Is that... Uh, you know the you know Lego store? Mm -hmm. I went to the Lego store, and they had this thing here, Aww. where you go, and they have a a, a a console you go up to like a screen, touch mm -hmm. screen, and you can like paint whatever you want. Did you make yourself into a Lego character? Yeah, and they print it onto the Lego body. Oh, cute! Oh. And then you get to pick your like other parts. So that's my logo. I printed my logo, so I had to draw my logo. But like, so that's my logo as a Lego guy. That's cute. Oh, cool. Yeah, and you can print whatever you want. So that's what I see on the back. I got, I got put my name. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I'd never seen that before. Your guitar's not white, though. It's the only guitar they had. And also this hat. Like, I, I couldn't find, like, a normal... Like, I wanted, like, a baseball hat or something. They didn't have anything. But anyway, I'd never seen that before. Does it have cool? sunglasses on it? Yeah, sunglasses, yeah. Nice. Yeah. He looks like... A skier. Yeah, I know. I know. In fact, those are, they're, in fact they're not even sunglasses. They're, they're ski goggles. And mm. then I'm wearing a ski hat. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. But I've never seen that before where you can actually have a custom Lego guy made. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy about that. That's cute. It was a good trip. Oh, and I bought shoes. Of course you did. I forgot. I'm going to show them. Is this Scott's show and tell? I bought two pairs of... Have you guys ever heard of barefoot shoes before? Mm. Nope. No. So barefoot shoes... I'm not going to go into the whole thing about what they are. But basically they're shoes that are made to be I shaped. I extra arms in here. Because you came with some extra arms. Um... They're supposed to be shaped like feet, as opposed to like, you know how regular, a lot of shoes are like round? 
These ones are actually shaped like feet. So I bought oh, this pair. Oh, take a picture of this. They're very flat. It's, the idea is it's supposed to like be more like walking in bare feet is the idea. Oh. So I bought these ones. They're like running shoes. And then I bought these ones. They're like barefoot, but they can be like dress shoes. Cute. See how like they're completely flat on the they're bottom? They're not cute. See how that's <laughs> like... I could wear that Funky. with a suit, do you think? Mm. They look like... They look like men. They kind of look like slippers men. a little bit. Yeah, slippers, they look like but like fancy. Fancy, fancy slippers. They like puppet shoes. <laughs> I know, because the shape is weird, right? I know, it's because... Not cause, puppet shoes. Because that's what our feet are shaped like. So mm. They're shaped more like feet. True. She's looking at your feet right now. <laughs> Uh -oh. Are your feet shaped like that? Are your feet shaped like that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was a good trip. I had a fun trip. That's mm. good. Um, we have one segment left. Should we have them both compete, maybe? Chloe did it already. Remember, she did it for her Oh, team. she did it already. Did she get Catherine to do it? Okay, yeah. we'll get Catherine to do it. With okay. all the sugar in her. <laughs> yeah, Catherine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you better avenge me. I think it'll help. <laughs> that it'll help. giggle was the best. All right. So, do you know what this is? Uh, yeah. Okay, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing this week's edition of the Barrel of Monkeys World Championship. That sounds like Catherine's <laughs> laugh. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Catherine, are you uh, are you excited? Do we need to go over the instructions? Yeah, we should probably we should probably yeah. do a demo. I think you should um <laughs> Maybe put that on the plate. Got to move some of those little, yeah, little licorice guys. Okay, well, so, Virginia, you want to do the demo? Sure. Okay, so here, I'll explain how it goes. So, it starts, the barrel sits on the table. Um, I will say three, two, one, go. You pour out the monkeys. There's a one minute on the timer. You pick up one monkey. You use that monkey to pick up another monkey. You use that monkey to pick up another monkey. Oh, sometimes they drop. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Another monkey and so on. And another and you're and you're basically trying to pick up as many monkeys on the chain as you can until you run out of time. Once the timer hits zero, you just freeze and we'll count the number of monkeys. So in this case you would have one, two, three, four, five monkeys. The one in your hand doesn't count towards the total. All right? Do you have uh, any, any questions? questions? Um, do you remember how your sister did? Yeah. How did she do? Like, wasn't it really good? And then, like, some of it fell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll hand you this. So you place it on the table. You go, girl. I, I think I'm going to get, like, three or something. Don't no. manifest it. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to get 1,000. This is, like, this is the biggest competition. It's bigger than any... How do you open it? I just, like, oh, okay. yeah. It's, uh, it's bigger than any singing competition. It's the, it's the biggest competition ever. I know, right? All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa, that was dramatic. Here we go. Actually, here, can we push that forward a bit so it doesn't block our face? Yeah, there you go. All right. Three, two, okay. dun, dun, dun. One. one, go. You get to oh. pour it. <laughs> that was cute. She's like, okay, I'll just keep it. That's it. Take your time with it. Stay calm. You got this. Look at the ones that are All right. already up. There Touching you go. from her sister. Look at that one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that one. Okay. 40 seconds remaining. Stay calm and composed. Get, get the ones that are Will already up. Will the monkeys up. cooperate? There the you go. The ones that are already up. <laughs> the ones. I can't get it. That one monkey. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Ooh. Okay. 25 seconds remaining. The ones we have lots that are of time. Look at that big pile. Very she nice. Got it. Don't worry. There you okay. go. She's getting it. Go clean. Go clean. Hustle, hustle. 15 seconds. Nice. Yep. Yeah, you've got a nice position here. 10 seconds. Can she grab it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Watch. Don't go. Time. Time. So that's All one, right. two, three, four, five, six monkeys. Six. Yeah. Monkeys, get it, girl. Yeah. That was uh, that was pretty good. That, and that's your first time ever playing that. Yeah. How do you uh, how do you feel about here? Oh, grab your microphone. How are you feeling about your uh, about your performance there? 
pretty good, I yeah. guess. So six monkeys. The monkeys were not cooperating. No, in the beginning especially too, they were, uh, <laughs> they got better, but in the beginning there, there weren't any, but. Uh, you did a good job. Yeah, I think you did good. Mm -hmm. I think you did very well. I love the coaching from your sister. Good job, Chloe. Yep. Thank you. So let's take a look at the monkey standings and see where you, uh, where you sit. Do, do, do. Uh, there we go, monkey standings, where are they? There they are. Monkey standing, six monkeys, puts you in one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth place. Is that right? One, two, nine, three, four, five, or sixth place. Mm. Six monkeys, sixth place. <laughs> yeah, that sits you in the same spot as Amber Rinker. She got six. Cool. Uh, Cindy with an S. Deja, Lisa Grace, Tyra Rosnick, Nina Keery, and Gosh and Carol all got six monkeys. And now you also did. Let's add her name where's into... The, where's Chloe's name? Uh, I think I've got like five. Five? Mm. In fact, let me see. Is it here? It's got to be here somewhere. Uh, you said you got five? Did we update it? Remember I don't there think some we updated update? it. Oh, maybe we forgot to put your name in. Scott. Oh, yeah, I'd be like AJ by one, so five. You did? Okay, so you have five? <laughs> so why don't we add her name now? Let's add her name now. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Chloe's here. O E. There we go. Chloe. Oops. The la Every time I restart this computer, it changes the language of my keyboard. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Okay, um, so there you go. Chloe's name is now in with five. Oh, wait, that's not right. There we go. And now let's get Catherine in there with six. There's a thing in the way. Ah, let's put her on her own line. We'll put it right here. Catherine. Six monkeys. Let's see, is it showing up? Oops. There she is, right there. Six monkeys, Catherine. Congratulations. Well done. Hey. Woo! Kaya asked his question in. Oh. Where's the Moana cast? Oh, where, where are they? Well, I guess they're off doing... Uh... The one... Oh, wait. Where on the list? Oh, yeah, that's right. Who competed for the... Was that... No, who, no. we were there. Who competed for that? No, um, Kaya did. Did we put our name there? You, we, there was a point where Scott didn't update it. We didn't it. update a couple. Oh. Uh oh. Kyan, what was your score? Do you remember Kyan what the score was? Yeah, Kyan. Sorry. Oh, oh she remember. She doesn't we'll remember. just okay. go back. We're gonna and have we'll to. We'll, have to, it, we'll yeah. have to go back and watch and then update it after. Update it after. <laughs> you know, I think one time we, we were having trouble finding where to where to put the information. Because we're trying to edit, like because yeah. it's so small on the screen, we're trying to actually rearrange things. Yeah. We'll have to go back and watch. Kyan says eight. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to check. I know she had a high check. score. All right, well, that concludes this week's edition of the Barrel of Monkeys World Championship. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, um, did you have fun? Yes. That's good. That's what matters. That's what matters. <laughs> Um, well, here we are. We've arrived at the end of the show, pretty much. Yes. Mm -hmm. We had some tasty snacks. Yep. We talked about uh, singing and performances and stuff. You guys have a good time? Yep. Uh, so before we go, can you once more plug in your Triple Act show? So we will be having our concert on May 11th, the Meeting House, at 7 p.m. Perfect. And it is a sold-out show. Um, so unfortunately, we can't go, no. but I'm sure you're going to have the best time yep. mm -hmm. um, for those who do attend because they're all very talented. So uh, people who got tickets, enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the show. I do want to give a shout out because I got a text message just now while we were watching that my cousin in the Philippines placed fourth in an arm wrestling competition. Oh. <laughs> so nice. kudos to you, James. Uh, I got the video, but I, I won't show it on air. But I think cool. that's impressive. Congratulations. Yeah. You must be jacked. I think so. It says James got fourth place in the arm wrestling finals. Finals. Ooh, very cool. Congratulations, James. Yeah. Shout out to you. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Um, social media. Um, I know that you, I think you have this Facebook page. You can let people know where to mm-hmm. follow you there. And if anything else you want to let people know about, you guys. Um, we have like Tiong Sen Sisters, T I O N G S O N, on Facebook. All right. I have my own Instagram. It's Chloe underscore underscore Tiong Sen. And okay. you know how to spell that. Um, you have yours? I mean, you could also par- follow our parents. They post stuff. Cool. So, mostly my mom, Joe, Ben Labs. I think that's easy to spell. But Okay. Perfect. And we'll add all the links in the description as well after mm-hmm. the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, Regine, where can people find you? You all can find me on my YouTube channel for The Pageant Sit Down, where we go live once a month. This week, we are live on Wednesday with Chloe Arsenal. So, make sure Fun. you find us. Link is in the description. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, pageant season is in full force. As mentioned, I was at Canada's Perfect yesterday. Um, so if you are looking for pageant coaching, I worked with six of the girls yesterday and they all placed and I'm so happy for them. Yay. Um, so you, if you're interested in getting pageant coaching, you can find me on Instagram, pageantcoaching.reginalena. Nice. Scott. uh uh-huh. <clears throat> where can people find you sorry <laughs> you can find me right here we're watching this very video this is very licorice tasting mm. um, youtube.com slash scott Dion brown that's the best place it's where you get the sit down mm-hmm. it's where you get vlogs mm-hmm. it's where you get music mm-hmm. I'm just kind of coming this week 100% <sighs> I tried to finish it before I left but I had too much to do it but was supposed to go out when Barbie was out yeah it's a little and late. then it was supposed to come out at the end of February <laughs> yeah but it's coming 100% this week because I, I, it's, 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 it's just looking so good. I'm editing it. I was filming it. It's, just, it's really good. It's just gonna, I'm excited. I did a cover of the song I'm Just Ken from the movie Barbie. Have you guys seen the Barbie movie? Mm-hmm. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Yes. Well, I covered, I'm covering that song. <laughs> so yeah. So YouTube.com slash Scott Dion Brown. You can also find me on Instagram and X mm-hmm. at Scott Dion Brown. But those are satellites for the YouTube channel. YouTube is the best place. Um, follow the show. Yes, the please. Sit Down with SDB on TikTok. The Sit Down with SDB on Insta. Mm-hmm. Sit Down Scott on X. The, the sit, sit Down with Scott Dion Brown on Facebook. And uh, you can also find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other places where there are podcasts, mm-hmm. probably. And if you want merch, you can do so. There's a link down below. That's right. So thank you all. Please hit the like button if you haven't yet. Mm-hmm. Um, subscribe to Regine's channel, my channel, follow. Uh, you can follow these two. On the on their various social media places. Um, thank, thank you to you everyone who tuned in. If you tuned in, left a comment, make sure you give this video a like. Yeah, hit subscribe. that little like, thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Helps out the channel. You guys know how it works. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, thank Sisters, you guys for being here. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank, thank you guys you. for being here. I hope you had fun. So the way we'll end it um, is we'll <laughs> say bye first, and then we'll send it to you guys. And if you want, you can just grab one of the mugs, and you guys can say bye. And then one of you or both of you or whatever can like sort of send the mug right at the camera the way like you know the way i kind of started the show bringing it away okay all right mm-hmm. so we'll start uh so you ready where's okay. my mug though you that's just, mine no that's yours oh okay so the you can both do it covered one <laughs> i'll do it all right okay, okay everybody okay. thank Ooh. you so much for tuning in <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in hit like hit subscribe we'll see you all next time and uh yeah you guys say bye however you want and then uh send it away guys i don't want to say toodles toodles <laughs> Your sister's always leaving you out. <laughs> <laughs>